So one of my favorite topics that I always talk about is run capacitors because they're so often misunderstood. Inside these things, we just have basically these wraps of plastic with a metallic coating on either side. And then inside you've got an oil and then you have connections. Now, obviously this is a turbo, so this one has a lot more wires and connections inside it than a normal capacitor. So your common or C terminal connects to one side. On this, it's the bottom, and that goes up to this ribbon that connects up to the center. And then the other side of the foil throughout is connected to uh, your other two capacitors generally with a dual cap. This one just has a lot, of, a lot more of them because it's a turbo. So the question comes up a lot. People will say, can a capacitor fail with higher capacitance than what the rating is? So this is a 35 by five, meaning that in between HERM, which is for your compressor start winding, and common, it should be 35. And in between fan and common, it should be five. And that's for your fan motor start winding. But could it have a higher rating than what it came from the manufacturer? Meaning, could it fail with a higher measurement? And I always contend that it can't. But one of the technicians in the class brought this in and said, this one indeed shows that it has a higher microfarad rating. And so we started testing it and it was kind of befuddling a little bit, um, but let's, let's just show what we've got here. So first off on our multimeter here, we've got a, just a, a very simple field piece meter. We're gonna put it on the ohm and microfarad scale. So it auto ranges depending on what you have it connected to. So it does that automatically. And so you can see right now we've got nothing. I'm using alligator clips here, but we're just gonna connect them and make sure that it's measuring in the ohm scale. So it is, so that's good. We have connect through our leads. I'm gonna connect one side to Herm. And I'm gonna connect the other side to C. Now one little trick here, whenever you're working on a run capacitor, if you can't see what it says on it, the one with three terminals is usually Herm. The one with four is C and the one with one or two is usually the fan. Now that's not always the case, but that is pretty common. So you can see here, we're measuring 93. So that seems to tell us that we're measuring high. That's what the tech thought. Now, uh, in his, to his credit, he went ahead and replaced the capacitor anyway, because obviously it was measuring outside of range, but it seemed to prove that I was wrong. When we got it in here to the bench though, pay close attention what it says here. Does that say microfarad? Is that the symbol for micro? Let's check by measuring on a different capacitor. So we're gonna measure on our turbo here. That's in good working order, 24.55. And you're gonna notice it's a different symbol. That's the micro symbol. This capacitor is not reading in the microfarad scale. It's reading in the nanofarad scale. So it's not actually measuring high, it's measuring low. But because of the auto ranging feature, that could throw you off. And this can happen in a lot of different areas. This can happen with voltage. In some cases they're going to auto range in between DC and AC and that can create confusion. But here you can clearly see it's measuring in nanofarads, not in microfarads. I thought that was a pretty interesting thing. Luckily, you know, con correct conclusion was come to, capacitor was replaced because it is failed. But like they always do when they fail, they fail with a lower microfarad measurement, not a higher microfarad measurement. And if you are measuring higher than the rating significantly, it's some issue with either the way it's being measured or the auto ranging on your meter or maybe even the meter itself. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing, you can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.